Hey guys, this is Anastasia Autumnfire, and this is part two of my week 16 for the YouTube Pagan Challenge. Um, I've already done a video kind of explaining the background and the reasoning behind this um, ritual, and now I'm going to share the actual ritual. Um, I want to explain the setup a little bit before launching into it, and... Um, Hopefully that will help a little bit as well. Uh, so first, I do have the representation of the elements. We have earth. I have a deep purple amethyst. Um, you can't see it very well by it. Uh, deep purple, obviously. Uh, purple rain, he was referred to as the purple one. Um, today on radio stations, they kept calling him the purple god. I thought that was kind of fun, so I definitely wanted to represent him with a purple stone of some sort. Uh, then I do have some black salts that I made um, with some herbs in there to um, help with the healing process and also help um, send out energies of love and uh, honor and respect. For air, we have some amber incense burning. Um, amber is very much connected to masculine energy for me. Um, which Prince definitely represented, um, or had. Um, it also is a good healing, um, resin or scent or stone or however you look at it. And, um, I, I like the idea of sending positivity out and driving away negativity, um, for any ritual that deals with death. Uh, for fire, first off, I do have my three deity candles going, uh, Hecate, Hell, and um, Kernunos. Then uh, this candle is actually the candle that I burn for anyone who has passed away that I do not know. Um, so a friend of the family or a Facebook friend or Facebook friend's family, what have you. Um, anytime someone posts that someone they love has, has passed away, I light this candle. Um, as celebrities, people that I don't know, um, if I read a news story about someone who died, um, and it's not in a violent way, um, but I feel compelled to, to light a candle, I will. Um, so that is that. And then um, for water, I have a seashell, and it's Actually, the spiral shell I love using for um, death work. It, it The spiral in it, actually you can see the layers in it. You can see that it's kind of more pronounced. You can feel the ridges, and I, I love that. You can see the spiral really well, but it, it's actually a feeling too. So you have a very... Um, a very pronounced... Uh, feeling when dealing with the shell and um, I think that's very good to represent kind of the whole birth life death rebirth uh, scenario and, and a spiral definitely signifies that um, process for me as well and then at the base of all of this is um, a rose quartz because this is all about love and warmth and positivity and then um, I do have a picture of the person who has passed away in this case it is Prince um, if I were to do this ritual for someone that I didn't have a picture of um, if it was something like on Facebook I would write up a little poem or a, a little tidbit um, or if someone posted a picture of them on Facebook um, if I feel called to have a picture I will um, and, and it's possible I will print off that picture and put it up, but normally just a, a little poem or a little something um, to represent is enough. So that is the explanation of the setup. Um, what I do in this ritual is I call to each of the corners to be with me and help me send energies to the, the departed um, and also call to the elements to aid those left behind. Um, and then I read the um, inscription that I actually carved onto the candle wax uh, when I made the candle. Um, 
just to kind of instill that intent again. Um, usually what I say to the elements is off the fly. Um, tonight's no different. Being that it is videotaped, I, I'm trying to focus as much as possible, but I, I know I'm terrible with umming all the time, every other second, um, 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 but that will probably be very profound in this. So, yeah, um, I'm just going to launch into the, the ritual now, and then uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. Um, I'm sure there are better ways of doing this. Um, I'm more than open to listen to hearing that, but no trolling or anything like that. That's just ridiculous to me. So, um, yeah. I enter this space to call upon the elements to ask the guardians to aid in a dearly departed soul. Help the soul and help those that are left behind. Let us all heal together and send energies of warmth, love, gratitude, and respect to those who have left this life experience and moved on to the next. A call to the guardians of earth, spirits to the north, Aid not only Prince Rogers Nelson in his journey to the next life, but to those who he left behind. Lend your strength, lend your foundation, let your growth and your healing aid them and guide them along their life experience in the here and now and his in the hereafter. I ask this of you. Spirits to the east, guardians of air, I call to you and ask that you aid upon your winds, guide Prince Rogers Nelson onto his next life experience. He was a mind of great creativity, of great logic and knowledge, and he shared that with all those that he could. Even when his eyes, ideas were perhaps not shared or not popular, he spoke his mind. Honor him and let us rem remember to honor him for that act as well. Let us take a page from his book and remember to use our knowledge, use our logic, and look for more answers and ask more questions. Let us be a seeker as he was in whatever this life brings us. Guardians of fire, spirits to the south, guide and aid the energy and soul of Prince Rogers Nelson onto his next life experience. Be it known, he was a man of passion. He was a man of fire and heat. He had a will and a determination which none could put asunder. He did not bow to others' conditions or terms. He paved his own way. And if an obstacle came, up against him, one that he was not able to conquer. He did not go s silently into the night. He fought and campaigned against it. Let those he has left behind learn from that. Let us remember his passion by revealing ours. Let us echo the determination that he felt and the ambition that he had. Let our will be strong and burn as he did.
guardians to the west, spirits of water, <laughs> you who aid us with emotion and magic. Prince Rogers Nelson needs your aid and guidance onto his next life experience. Know that he was a true magician with music. He brought out a magic that very few can. He could create emotion within all, with his words, with his sound. Aid him into his next life experience. And help those he left behind with their emotion. Let their pain ease. Let your waves crash upon them softly. Let the, let the grief be there because it has to be there. But let it ease into celebration. And let us never forget the magic that can be in music. Let us look to the old songs and rekindle that light within us. Let us become storytellers again and singers of songs again. And let us remember what it means to create. Let his death in this life resonate within others so that they might create as well. I put before you this energy and all other energies that have risen their voice for this soul tonight. Let his energy know that he is remembered, that he is honored, and that we are very thankful for all that he has given us, both to the masses and to us individually. We all have our little stories. We all have our little ways. For those of us where Prince had a special place in our hearts, let him know that. And let him carry that into the next life for him. Candle burn true and bright. Guide those lost to their peace and light. Let them know they are remembered and loved. Let their honor and love reach far and above. Send light and peace to those left behind. Let them feel the embrace of spirit and kind. As this light burns and glows, let those who have loved us feel our love as it grows. They are remembered, loved, and true by the many or by the few. Let peace, light, and love reign because of the, because of the departed will never be the same. I thank you for your aid and put before you this wish. As it is my will, so mote it and blessed be.